you know. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Who has a dog like that? that? Somebody just showed me. Hello. Oh, Chad, our producer has a dog that looks just like that. Very cute. Let's get to our dog of the week. And for that, we get to our betting analyst, Aaron Dolan. Hello. You nailed it again last yeah. week, Aaron, yeah. with the Commanders. Yeah. No pressure. Rex, of course, just jumped on board with you, yeah. so he was good, too. What do you have for us today? Yeah, it was great that Rex jumped on the board with that. But for our dogs of the week, the biggest one is going to be the Giants catching 12 and a half points. They have not covered one game this season. Neither has the Panthers, who are catching nine points. Then we see a big drop off here, and it's been difficult to find my dog of the week. OK, but we're going to go with the Pittsburgh Steelers because Mike Tomlin as a dog. Look at these numbers. He's the best against the spread and straight up as a dog since 2017. He's also good as a home underdog. Now let's not overreact to what we saw last week. It was terrible. I understand that things could level out. And then, of course, with the Ravens, they looked really good against the Browns, who were without Deshaun Watson. But this comes down to Lamar Jackson yeah. versus Pittsburgh. His 67.4 passer rating is the lowest out of any opponent that he's faced in his career. In five games against Pittsburgh, six interceptions, six fumbles, not to mention weird scheduling spot. This is their third road game in four weeks. Then they have to fly to London to play a game. This is going to be one of those weird spots that I think the Pittsburgh Steelers might be able to cover the spread. So I'm going to take that. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.